Building more housing has certainly been a priority for all three levels of government, but for Mayor Olivia Chow, it's at the top of her agenda, as well as affordable housing advocates who say they've been waiting on more federal funding to get the job done for projects that have simply been on hold until now. There's going to be four development blocks here. So the first one is here, block one, block two, block three. For years, the city's been planning a major housing development on the land surrounding Islington Station, a transit hub for the subway and buses, along with a large surface parking lot. Four towers up to 55 stories for 1,400 residential units, much of which would be considered affordable. We could start parceling up these parking lots right now, and the feds could be uh, arriving with the funds that are needed, both in loans and in grants, to make the affordable housing work on these sites. Billions in federal funding laid out in the budget will help with projects like this and others on a much smaller scale, with low-cost loans and grants to support building rental housing. Mayor Olivia Chow has pushed for more support from both Queen's Park and Ottawa to assist with both public and private affordable housing initiatives. She says plenty are shovel ready. In a lot of what we have uh, done, whether it is to buy existing buildings, um, moving people into shelters, um, protecting, expanding affordable housing, all of that, there is uh, uh, there's pieces in it. Chow has also recently emphasized the need to support school nutrition programs, which the Trudeau government has pledged it will do with funding for a national school food program. More money for infrastructure to support the city's growth is also at the top of the list. Roads and transit are considered to be a major factor in making sure Toronto thrives now and in the future. But it is a priority. It's billions of dollars of cost and is very needed for this economy of this city to work properly, to be able to get people to work and back home, to be able to get people to get to retail, to do their, you know, to do what they want to do, get around the city. Mobility is crucial, also for goods and services, not just people. While transit is being built, the existing infrastructure also needs to be taken care of. Chow has long pushed for funding from the federal government to replace the existing subway trains on line two as they come close to the end of their life. Last June, the TTC estimated it would cost $2.5 billion to buy 80 new trains. That money has yet to come forward. I believe the finance minister and the Liberal Toronto caucus know the need of Torontonians, the need for new subway cars, because you can't miss how those cars need to be upgraded or we need new ones. So I'm, well, I can say I'm confident, I'm hopeful that they come to the table and say, here's the funds. Chow made a point of saying that she will continue to negotiate with the federal government to see if those funds actually do come through. Another thing that did come from the federal budget today is more money for refugee programs and housing. $1.2 billion has been committed over the next three years. Mark McAllister, City News.